Alright then, welcome back. Last time we went ahead and declared war on Tribea for more of territory. Specifically, get Moldavia's cores back, plus some Black Sea access to Carbadia. As well as making a nice, smooth border with Sarcasia. Which I might eventually attack too. Or who knows, maybe just vassalize them. It's although in, it's honestly pretty unimportant territory. It does make for a nice natural border though. Give me a lot of safety here. And there's no real wasteland passages either, so... Probably just take Kamik territories and Circassian territories and then fortify the borders. Although the Caucasian cultures are going to be really annoying to deal with because they're so tiny. There's three of them with one province, two with two provinces, and a third... Okay. Three with... One province, and the other three are also three provinces in size. Three provinces in size. So yeah, not exactly a great culture. Tartar culture also seems to be splitting up a lot. Anyway. Looks like the mound looks have been strengthened enough to call me a rival again. Good on them. Especially since everyone else that's powerful enough to call me a rival is just too far away. Simply because I lack local reach. There's Madara, well, they're all in India. Or China. And three of the great powers of the world are India. And they don't look particularly large, it's Delhi. Huge desensitized vassal network. There's Bengal. There's quite a few vassals, although it's not nearly as much as you'd expect on the corner of Dev. They've got almost 2,000 Dev on their own. Which I also have. Madurai has a huge amount of development, plus some Dev subjects. Which happens to be these two countries. A uh, thousand death subjects too. Delhi is absurd with six thousand death subjects. Even the a uh, few of the decentralized vassals are also pretty militant. Delhi basically needs to keep integrating vassals in order to keep the ones that they have stable. Mega Chorus is up there with 2,000 subject dev and 6,000 of its own dev. Military recognitions. Zhao doesn't actually have any direct subjects. However, they still have 4,500 dev on their own. Of course, there's also all of the tech costs from institutions that are modifying everything. Property insurance. And then finally caught up in Diplo Tech. The Great Fire of London bankrupted many merchants who lost everything. It was not long afterwards the first fire insurance companies were set up, each with their own fire department, in order to minimize losses from fire. Soon the practice spread to include other forms of property insurance. Trade efficiency up, and at least for the next set, uh, 20 or so months. I get an extra plus 20% to Diplo power. Or no, Diplo power. Trade power. Okay. I do actually have enough money stored up for meritocracy. I don't plan on getting it right away, though. I'd like to wait until Skav has managed to pick it up, as well as Nichi Novgorod. 
Kraus is not getting any time soon, and if these promises aren't hiding. Oh, these two are getting it relatively soon. Skov will be coming rather soon, while Nishinokuro is still going to take three, four years. Besides, the current debuff presented by manufacturers is only 3%, and will only increase to 4% next year, which is a pretty important year, because that's when I need to grab sock bayonets in order to keep my innovativeness increasing. Huh, it expired again? Backwards Monarch, eh. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I need to keep the... If I can keep the succession stable once my... Tsaritsa finally dies. Then I can keep this union going. And then... Well... I'll stick around. Might eventually annex them. Oh, right, probably should get this, too. I can afford it. Ecclesiastical judiciary, ju judiciary. There. Having a highly literate clergy who are trained to practice the divine code of laws gives us a ready-made justice system that can replace the authority of local nobles with a single, unified set of laws for the entire nation. While it can resist a ruler's authority, it helps to tip power away from the aristocracy and reduces arbitrary or evil misuses of justice. So it lowers natural unrest by two, which is quite nice. In helping keeping everything stable and consistent. There, I think I've been forced on it again. Yep. Alright, let's finish off scholasticism ideas with scriptural tradition. Our faith has a scriptural tradition dating back many centuries. Uh, at this point, it's more like millennia. The sayings of scholars and saints throughout the ages has been collected and codified and has become a part of an evolving understanding of our religion. I also get reduced tech costs, so all tax costs are 40 points cheaper now. Noise. So I have even more points to invest in ideas. Small monastery, please. Okay. Let's see, our meritocracy is at around 50% in the areas around. Moscow, but it's not going to spread there very quickly. Let's see here. Uh, where is it at its best? 1690. At the very best, so I'll just embrace it now. Oh, this is possibilities. Oh, let's see what works there, so let's just race this. It cost me 5700 and in fact, prices are probably increasing because of lowering economies, especially step over here. So, better now than later. it also make my advisors cheaper. And, it would make tech cheaper so I can get the national bank next. That way, I have an excess of diplo points to spend on the trade, on well, yeah, trade ideas, which will be quite helpful. And the mumbles are no longer arrival again. Yay! Get some extra manpower, which I can use to work on. First, let's get this. 
National Bank, the expenses of fighting a modern war could easily bankrupt even a rich nation. What do you mean by that? When William III of England asked the merchants of London for another loan to fight his wars, he was refused. He then made them an offer to incorporate them as governors of a national bank, whose role was to issue permanent bonds to raise money for his wars. Soon William has raised over a million pounds, and the Bank of England was copied by other nations. What do you mean by making the modern nation go bankrupt? I have I don't think I've ever had more than two or three loans, and those were from events. I guess I can't help it if I have just such a strong economy. <laughs> right, you need a highway network. And your path, which is Viasma. Huh? Is this because Mel's eyes? Because this is a straighter path. Uh, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna upgrade all of them. Why not? I've got a manpower to spare. Now that I have. I haven't spent any of it in a while, so. Let's get second level rows in all these provinces. I think Mosaic can also use a highway network as well. Alright, you go through Sarko, and Sarko goes to you. I'm gonna assume it goes through Deshik Shack. Off the economy of the region. Same with this one. Heck, it even has its own production center now. Oh, that's good. Okay, um, let's attract qualified artisans. That will double the growth. Decent road to Rostov is also a good idea, so I can connect more readily with Yaroslav, as well as Kostroma, once it gets to that point. In the 17th century, the fields of mathematics and philosophy blended together to produce rationalism. And works such as Descartes' Meditations from 1641, philosophers espoused the idea that people had an innately rational nature, with common knowledge that could be brought to the fore. In this way, they encouraged the use of reason alone to reveal the eternal truths of the universe. In the words of Descartes, cogito. I think that's supposed to be cognito. I think I might be misspelling. I don't know. I'm going to say cognito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. Next tech, royal absolutism, is also utterly useless. At least with regards to any benefits to me within this game. 
this tech level 36 is going to get me two more states along with that one um, extra. In fact, I only need two states to annex Finland without issues. Since I already have Honest, well, Corellia stated, and then it's just inland Finland and coastal Finland. The territory isn't that useful for me, though, trade wise. Let me check on Perm's territory. Okay, there's Perm itself. I already stated Galish, and I've already stated Pomeri. There's Kazan, and then there's several states here. Okay, probably not. Everything past the Urals is helpful. Torazak has a Renown University now. Okay. Huh. That should help with keeping education cheaper, although we'll raise autonomy with the province. Which is always great to have. At the very least, within the next 20 years. Okay, so it'll take about... 16 years. Alright. Yeah, out of all the, the vassals that I have, Moldavia is just too far away. I don't have a direct land connection. Carbadia just... I don't think it's a good idea at the moment, since they're just, just divided upon so many small states. Finland is divided into three states, one of which I've already stated, and I'm going to get two more once I research tech level 36. That tech level 41 gets me another two. Probably can eventually pick up Empire ideas, just get even more states to work with. So, yeah. Besides, Finland is not very militarily useful. At best, they're just a way to keep Sweden away from me. I also have room for three more except cultures, so I can just go ahead and accept Finnish culture without any issues. Alright, let's let the month take over, and yeah. Right. So, Brittany has finally managed to form. And England's attacking, trying to attack anyway. Munster. Okay, good luck with that. And I've learned that, uh, that's where you're getting your war score from. So yeah, Munster Canada is a thing. As well as Munster Subarctic Island, since Greenland is a single province. I also can finally see the actual colonization efforts of the European powers in the Americas, or at least some of them. Alwa aid Ethiopia. The horror. Delhi seems to be keeping things together. There's a... Okay. Uh, Zao has eaten quite a big portion. Han, though. Uh -huh. Interesting. That's a difference. Uh, I don't see much change here. The Golden Horde is continuing to colonize, but at this point, communication is so bad, these provinces might actually become more of a liability to them than a benefit. And that I don't really see much change in the world, so. Yeah. Additionally, I'm beginning the annexation of Finland, in case you didn't notice. Yeah, with this, I should be able to... Since in two admin tech levels, I'll be getting two more states, and that's all I need in order to fully state... Uh, except for the islands, but I don't care about the islands. I'll be able to fully state these provinces. In fact, it's already converted it from Swedish to Finnish culture, so... Yippee! All in crisis solved centuries before it actually happened in our time. Anyway. 
that's it for now. I'll see you again next time. Until then. Bye.